Hey guys, Monette here, and we've got our very first sports segment on season five. We're super excited. And as Dorian and Rudy mentioned, we're mixing it up a little bit this season by going out and checking out some interesting sports club here at Swinburne University. So the first one we're gonna look at is fencing. I got involved in fencing uh, because my family used to fence. My grandfather and my two uncles used to do fencing. So I guess it's, it was in my blood, so I didn't really have a choice. But the first time I started fencing was at RMIT in 1994, and then pretty much took it up again here at Swinburne in 1999. Great, and so what kind of fitness does one need to start fencing? To start fencing, uh, to be honest, you don't need any fitness. You can just come off the street and go, right, I want to fence. And then after that, we you know, build up your legs. So basically, it's a lot of leg work you know, squats and, and all that stuff. And then yeah, we build you up and then eventually you can fence. But if you do a lot of squats at home, you know, ride a bike, you know, that, that can help. Great. And so how many people are part of the club here at Swinburne and fencing? Uh, currently we have about 10 to 15 members. So that's pretty much sufficient for this room because it's a little bit small for fencing. Fencing requires a big um, venue. A lot of other clubs use um, basketball courts and, and stuff like that, so it makes it a bit easier. But 10 to 15 is just about right, so you know, that's a good number. Great. And so there is some fencing going on here today, and they're on some kind of electrics. Can you explain to us what is going on here? Basically, the electrics, <clears throat> you can see they've got a steel um, a mask, and they're, um, this is called the lame, the jacket. And basically, that conducts some um, electricity, and then the light goes off when they hit each other. And that's how you determine, you know, someone's made a point. And there's some other rules and refereeing that goes on, but yeah, that's that's the basics. Great. Well, it all sounds really awesome. So let's go check it out. Now, there are a lot of different layers to the uniform in fencing. Can you explain to us what the uniform is? Um, I'll start with the sword. So basically, this is the sabre. We do sabre fencing at um, Swinburne. Then you also need the protective gear, which is your mask, so it protects you from getting hit in the face. And then the lame is when you get hit, Oops, sorry. that will register. And then to be protected, you have the white jacket, pants, socks, and fencing shoes, oh, and also a glove. And some people, not everyone, I, tend, I wear a, an elbow guard, just in case. Excellent, well prepared there. Now, fencing, it's so unique. How is it different to other sports? Uh, basically, fencing is a very uh, leg-oriented. So you need to do a lot of leg exercises. Like my old coach used to say, fencing is 90% leg work where you, a lot of times you think, no, nah, no, nah, it's about the blade and taking parries and, and doing all that stuff. But basically, you need strong legs to get into trouble and then also to get you out of trouble. So if you love that aspect of... Um, there's also a lot of tactics in it, so that, you know, keeps your mind going and, and yeah, so that, that, that's fencing. And it's just, it's really fast. And a lot of times if you're thinking about doing a move, then it's already too late. You've already been hit. So it's eventually fencing becomes um, like muscle memory. Lots of mind games and also lots of equipment and so it sounds like a really great sport. Thank you. Thank you. And that's sports for this week. I'll catch you next time.